drunken lots. Get off your backsides and kill it. I'll save you, fair damsel. Ah, oh, what a strapping man you are to be saving me from that wee beastie. I happened to be wandering by when I heard your cries over the rumbling of my empty belly. You aren't hers, are you? No, but aren't you the sweet one for asking? See, I've an idea. If you'd be willing to do a little job for me, I'd give you a good meal and a warm place to lay your head for the night. I'd be only too happy to handle anything you'd like to heave my way. Then it's a deal, for it's a wee rat problem I've got in me cellars, and if you could do away with them, I'd be ever so thankful. Rats, you say? In the cellar. How cliché of you, love. But I'll forgive you this once. You'll need a bigger sword than what you've got, in case you run into trouble. Oh, and uh, my sword is quite big enough to handle any troubles you might have. Quest complete! All hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane, who has bravely made the cellars once again safe for buxom barmaids and wanton widows. Or has he? <laughs> the bard, finding himself wreathed in flame, dashed up the stairs towards the safety of the tavern. I better hope I've cooled off when I return, or you're next! <laughs> Who the hell are you? How'd you get down here? Look here, laddie, don't be concerning yourself with such things right now. I'm here to help you with your rat problem. Any brute can swing a sword. If you really want to slay that hairy beastie, try playing this tune on that loot of yours. Go on, clear off out of it. I've no use for you. I'm not offering to go with you, laddie. I'm offering you a bit of song and magic that'll bring you back in one piece. Great. So now the rat gets dinner and a show. If it's so bloody powerful, use it yourself and save me the trouble. Would that I could. But I'm not a man of action like yourself. <laughs> so do yourself a favour and take a little charity when it's offered, my boy. Done. Show me what you've got. Before you head down there and face that huge rat, I'd like to be sure that you know your business. Would you like me to teach you a few wee things that'll help you get the best of any foes you might encounter? I think I'm going to regret this. But I'll humour you, old man. Good job, lad. 
You already know how to attack, but let's talk about defending yourself. Press the defend key. What? What are you on about? You're completely insane, aren't you? You know, I ran into this other guy once. He kept talking about mice I couldn't see. Now I'm blocking pretend blows. I hope you appreciate what I'm going through here and reward me sufficiently. That was great, boyo. You'll notice that instead of holding down the key, you'll have to time your defence to the enemy's attack. Of course I have to time it. How else am I going to block anything? Now, already. Let's teach you how to play that loot of yours and make some magic. What? Does my name not mean anything to you? The Bard? Did you not see me summon that rat a few moments ago? Press the summon menu key. You're not listening to a word I'm saying, are you? You'll see several choices. These are the different types of beasties you'll eventually be able to summon. For now, let's summon that spider I taught you about. Finally. This part is important, so listen up, laddie. The creatures that you summon aren't under your complete control. But they will try to do what you wish to the best of their ability. Try to give them orders using the command keys. For example, press the aggressive key to make your little friend there become more aggressive. Charge! Ah, you're getting the hang of things now, aren't you, lad? <laughs> you can experiment with different uses of the command keys to develop your own strategies. Now, at times, you may want to get rid of a creature you've summoned. Simply go back into the same menu you've summoned him from and select him again. That's the way to get rid of an unwanted creature. Great. Does that trick work on you as well? Good luck against the rat, my boy. In the future, I'm going to have to learn how to dodge these mysterious old man types. Bard, rat killer, and rodent bane, who has bravely made the cellar. How about you tell the story and leave the sarcastic patronizing to me, okay?
away again, did ya? Go back to where you came from and leave the fighting to those who've got the guts for it. Oh no, the rat is the gutless one, for I spilt his about your cellar. I'd be only too happy to haul him up here for you to see. In fact, it might actually improve the ambiance of this place. No need. The stench you bring with you will be proof enough. Well, maybe there's more to you than meets the eye. Twas the least I could do for a damsel in distress. Now, how about that meal? Why don't you wait while I fix you some leftovers? Oh, and your room in the back is almost ready. Having spent a lonely night in a somewhat uncomfortable and shabby bed, the bard awoke the next morning in a foul humor. You should go speak with that strange friend of yours. He was starting to scare away my regular customers. I had to chase him out. What did I tell you, lad? You hooked him and cooked him. Thanks to that song you gave me. You're welcome, boyo. And should you be looking for another one like it, find the trow in the fairy haunt woods. But keep your wits about you. They're devilish clever, the trow. With magic by the pound, and not a single scrap of honesty. Mmm, sounds a little dangerous to me. I don't care much for Trow. I think I'll pass. Come now, boy. What's a little danger when compared to power? Didn't that little trick I showed you help you get in good with the Widow McCrary? If it's a skin you're worried about, I will wee trink it here that'll keep you safe from harm. This amulet was made by a powerful sorceress. It can summon her spirit to heal your wounds in battle. You'll need adder stones to provide the necessary mystical power. If you like, you can even use multiple stones for even greater effect. Dear laddie, try it out. She's very beautiful, but uh, I've found that mysterious strangers offering gifts usually lead to trouble. You wouldn't want anything from me, would you? Have any ulterior motives, by any chance? You wound me, laddie. That remains to be seen. Out with it, man. What do you want from me? You got it all wrong. Look, my boy. Oh, okay. I do want something from you. I thought so. What is it you want? Something dangerous, no doubt. No, no, nothing like that. You see, I belong to an ancient order. We've traveled the land for years now, seeking men such as yourself to... Aha! I knew it was something like that. I'm not joining anything. But I will take your advice and find this trout. Oh, and I'll have that amulet as well, if you're still offering it. Of course, lad, of course. Here you go, and don't forget. The trow is in the fairy haunt woods. Goes by the name of Banafit.
Excuse me. 